the ultimate mind games is Yapsor plays mid this game, huh? <laughs> what do you guys think? That's <laughs> that's definitely next level. <laughs> With a coil available, I think Puck is going to be the one who wants to get online and do stuff. Oh, Bane dies. Bane dies? Okay. Bata, he gets cold snap. There's the ink swell to fall. He's going to get the invis rune. <laughs> he didn't take account the invis rune, but there is a nice sentry placed and the charge from Ice Ice Ice. Waga is correct. You win absolutely nothing. You get to continue to cast. Oh. Congratulations. As always, that is the greatest prize. Thank you. That stroke of fate would have really hurt. <laughs> you, you max stroke of fate, I'm guessing, right? Uh, of course, yes. Yep, yep. Damage. And it's Aetherlands uh, E-Blade. Just trying to set the picture for people so they yes. get even more disappointed that we don't see a... Oh! He died. Wow. He was so close to yeah, getting He ends up dropping here next to the Tier 1, and I would assume Helm of the Overlord to follow. But after that, we see a lot of variation, like depending on if Blink Dagger is needed. We're going to see a gank here from Secret. Snake King's going to spot it. He's going to get cold snapped and quite easily brought down here. Yeah. But they're not going to lose anybody else. It might seem greedy, but I actually think it's more of a, I want to be everywhere and join everything. And you have Beastmaster on your team, so you could potentially oh. TP in on birds. Ice 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 steals the trusty shovel and is going on top of Fada now, who's going to dodge the tornado. And you can see Io coming in, relocating with nine. So they're going to try to turn this around onto Ice Ice Ice. The coil is expended and he's going to pay the ultimate sacrifice. But a free trusty shovel, if he gets a bounty rune, that's worth it. Oh my god, over the time of the oh, game. Nice ice path into the dual breath mid, though, with Sumail on that urn. Snake King, full snap applied. They're going to take him down relatively easily. Nine in the meantime, attempting to wait. Snake he's King, ticking down. No, he's fine. Lots of regen. Man, this tower is super low, thanks to the pressure that Skeeter has shown uh, so far this game. And Secret looking to potentially want to defend here. And it looks like that is definitely the case. Fata is dead right off the bat. And with that, Tundra retreats. Like we talked about, Power Spike is coming for Tundra. And we can see the Ray Fire Blast onto Ice 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 in the bot lane. Fata not able to find the range. Has absolutely no farm to get like, oh, a or anything like nice that. Touch. Oh, haste is taken by Sumail. And there's the silence onto Nine as well. He looks mega dead. Yeah, and that's going to slow things down even more. Uh, Helm of the Overlord now online. Damn, it's Lord shredding 30. that tower. Yeah, he is uh, quite quite hefty indeed. Fata, he's going to get silenced. Cold Snap to follow. It looks like that's going to be easy one. But 33 gets off the Primal Roar. First of the game, I believe, onto Puppy, who's kind of separated with this wall right now. But Soulbind on two. Double silence. The charge connects from Ice Ice Ice. Stroke of Fate as well. Trying to take off this Phantom's Embrace in the meantime. Nine gets off the nice coil only onto Samail, though. Do they have enough to actually finish him off? They do have the vision and chopped down by Skeeter. So a one for one, but in favor of Tundra here. Yeah, then they bring everyone. When Tundra want to fight, they just make sure that everyone joins the party. Meanwhile, the Naga is just farming. She doesn't even have a single point in ulti, by the way. So even if she went there, she wouldn't be able to really do too much. Yeah aware of this, but it's going to be a little bit too late, it seems. So Aegis is going to be online for Tundra. Skeeter Your favorite. will take it for himself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think with this much aggression, maybe it's okay. Spirit Breaker is going to get gripped yeah. and brought down. Aegis is Tundra. a lot about how you use it, right? And he has a Blink Dagger now on the Wraith King, and that's the key item to allow this uh, Aegis to be good on Wraith King, I think. You mean if you uh, Phantom Embrace Puck? Or, yeah. Or, yeah. Can you then, face shift that easily? Yeah, if you face shift, it's just gone. Speaking of top, they're catching Puck, yeah. and he's going to go down. Yeah, that is another big kill for Secret, but they're going to lose the tier 2 tower. Yeah, map is getting smaller. Fortunately, Naga is a very good hero to kind of stretch her tendrils of map control out. The mirror image, very good for still getting places even though you lose your towers. So perhaps not a hero that struggles as much losing these towers early, but still doesn't feel great. Yep. Oh, Nightmare is going to cancel this charge from Ice Ice Ice, and they're just going to completely surround him and way too much damage. That's without a Deso on Skeeter. He's still chopping kids down. As Puppy puts down the Macro Pyre, dual breath to follow. Doesn't look like they'll be able to catch anymore. And this is the second tier two tower down at 18 minutes. The power of push all the way to Radiance, and mm -hmm. once you get it, it's, true. It, it's great, but it's not that great. Oh, Relocate coming in, I believe, is Fata. He's going to get dropped, though, before they even get here. Soulbind onto two, but BKB applied by 33. Puppy is the focus of fire right now, and Puck getting silenced. Can't use this coil quite yet, but it looks like Seeker are still crumbling in this fight. Nisha, there's the coil, finally comes out, 
And he gets off the song. Inkswell to follow. Needs to try to create a little bit of distance here. Link Dagger's online, though. Wraith Fire Blast does connect. Can they close the gap? The Black oh. Dragon with the Fireball. Looks like it'll be enough. No more Naga Siren for Secret as Tundra are looking very good in this game. But, okay, Ice Ice Ice. Great charge with Inkswell. Yeah. These carry players sure do love to trick people with that stuff. As Fata is on a cliff right now, but you can see Nine is the one getting initiated. He does dodge the Phantom's Embrace. Looks like Puppy ends up dying close to that cliff. Nine gets off the coil, and that's going to force out the song. Nisha's just going to break it up the Manta and walk away. But the Fiend's Grip on the other side onto Ice Ice Ice. They're going to follow it up with the Wraith Fire Blast, and that is another death for Secret as they are down a monumental 10,000 gold. You guys will hear it soon enough when the shard comes, gets delivered. Yeah, Nisha is going to be spotted out. 33 pops his BKB a little bit prematurely, but gets the roar off on the correct Naga, and that is going to be a dead Nisha. Does have buyback, but if he expends it, then there's almost no hope for him to get back in this game. Coil now going to be applied only to one hero, but... It is that uh, the Grim Stroke that they were hoping was going to be the core. Not going to happen, though. As Fata, kind of in the front line, he's going to get dropped. So it's a two for one, but definitely in favor of Tundra. So they can't quite go high ground now, but the neither strike onto nine. Trying to save him is Snake King. Nine in the phase shift will walk away safely. Uh oh. Chase Fata again. Peter, the top lane, though. Yeah, we have the coil. It's going to be broken. Even with the bulldoze, not enough to survive for Ice Ice Ice. Looking to focus on. The tower now. I think it's eight versus four even, right? You got the tra dead dragon as well. Never discount a dragon. Yeah, you see how good Jakiro is against Bane. That long range ice path. Oh, ice path with the meteor. This is doing a lot of damage. Ooh. They have to be careful. Does Tundra. And they're going to blow up the Io as well as the first life of... Oh my god, the coil onto three heroes on the backside. Creating so much space as Ice 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 is to be brought down. Can they go for Sumail though? That is another Lincoln supply to him, thanks to Nisha. Yeah, and by the time the Aegis is up... His reincarnation will be up as well. Another 20 seconds for that. Here comes the EMP. Will they get this melee, Rax? Uh, Secret does have fortification. So, Fata, or not Fata, but Tundra in general. Are they actually going to re-aggress? They're going to go on top of Puppy. One more right-click will do it, but no, that's going to be the Aegis. Actually, it's the reincarnation. That's actually worst-case scenario for Skeeter. Because it prioritizes that, and his Aegis is going to expire very shortly. They do find the Jakiro, but he's going to buy back into the game. Ice 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 looks to be next. Double BKB pop for Tundra already. And I think with that, see if they want to re-aggress again. Nine stuck in a really bad spot here. The Bloodthorn doing so much damage to him with the Deafening Blast to follow. And that is a dead puck. Nine done for 90 seconds. No buyback. A nice hold from Secret. Yeah, they don't lose anything too valuable there on Secret. With the travel can come. Aghanims, perhaps. Oh, sure puppy. Or Sumail, even. Yep. Oh, man. They're going to focus on Sumail. And so look at the right click speed of Skeeter. Holy Jesus. Double kill for 33. And yeah. That there is a buyback, though, for Sumail. Oh, bottom. Sumail right. is miscouted See? by the bird. Oh, the dive. Not quite there, but Sumail still going to get spotted out and slept. And now he is completely surrounded. The Fiend's Grip with the right clicks of 33. Should be more than enough. Not even needing Skeeter here. 72 seconds. Still buyback intact, though. Puppy. Going to get three, four shot by Skeeter. And the coil is going to be used on Nisha. He actually gets stunned up as well. Walks through it into the roar. And this is looking like it might be over for Secret. They're going to have to use these buybacks. Sumail already popped his. And you can see Nisha on the top still with his intact as well. But... I'm going to try to focus this mid racks now and Secret with a potential final hold here. Inkswell not even going to go for the combo because they know. Is that the shard for Yapsor? No, does not have the shard yet. As we're going to see, the charge with the EMP to follow. Skeeter getting kited to a high degree. Still has Aegis though, so not really worrying about that. Also has Flicker to dispel. That is a nice pickup. As BKB pop from 33, they want to take out Ice 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 and they'll do so. Still has the roar available, and remember, has the refresher orb in addition. Coil is expended on Puppy. Not sure if they're going to find this kill. There's <laughs> nine in the trees. He's going to be spotted out. Actually does find the kill finally. 50 seconds on the deck for Puppy as Midrax is taken out. So much space being created thanks to this buck. As yeah. Fata's telling everybody he will eat the cheese. So he will. The puck just cannot be stopped. Line. 
Nisha trying to do something, yeah. but how do you initiate here? The dark portrait! Kill it! How much damage does it do? All right, a little bit. It's not great. It, <laughs> it's not looking... Eh. It's like a Wisp eh. is tanking 20 hits from it, and it's single yeah. targets. That's not the best. Is See if Seeker can try to hold this. Nisha, or Nine, actually gets the Lincoln spot as Nisha jumps in, still has his Lynxes in tow with the BKB activated, but the buildings are just going down so fast. This is going to be Mega Creeps at the very least, if not GG, as Secret getting demolished in this game. And Sumail looks to be dropping here very shortly, but the song used by Nisha just delaying the inevitable, it seems, as Nine Lincolns is going to be popping in. They're just going to blink in and delete Nisha from the game. So GG.